welcome to one of these kind of personal vlogs. Uh, I'm going to start doing more of them if you want them. Um, basically, this video uh, on all my social media, um, I got bombarded with loads of comments on like what do you use to take photos, what do you use to take videos, what you edit them on, all those type of questions. And I thought, well, I just may as well uh, do a video on it. Um, so basically, in this video, I'm just going to be going through everything that I use, including computer. And uh, yeah, so you guys have um, an idea about what I use to create all the stuff that you're seeing on YouTube currently or social media such as Facebook, Instagram, all that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and let's get stuck into it. So to start things off, um, we've got my camera. Um, now this is probably the thing that I use the most because it's how I started by doing photos. Um, now it's a Nikon D800E. Um, I had this camera for about a year now, I think. Uh, insane camera. I've got the 28 to 300 millimeter lens on it. Um, works amazing. Um, I mean, if these are type of the shot, the, some of the shots that I've got with the camera so far. This is my website, by the way. I'll put a link down below so you can go check it out if you want. Um, but I'm going to start uploading some of my newest newest photos because these are all old photos. These are like last year because um, I've been busy with exams, as you may know. Um, so I'm going to be uploading all the stuff from, say, Goodwood, Wilson, all that lot. Um, so yeah, they'll be on my website soon, so I'll inform you when they're online. Right, and so also for my DSLR, I've also got a 50mm. Um, I've been using this uh, more lately, to be honest, because uh, I find I get it goes down to a lower aperture number, and I like the blurry backgrounds compared to this. This only goes down to 4.5, that goes down to 1.4, so there you go. Um, if you're a photographer, you may understand what that is. Um, so yeah, that's what I use to take for taking photos. Uh, I also use my phone, it's an iPhone 6 with a nice crack in it, lovely. Um, I use that for like mobile uploads, things like that. Right, so next up we've got my tripod. Um, now I use this mainly, say if I go to London and it's night or something, or if I'm having a night photo shoot, something like that. But if this is a Velbon, I'll try and find the exact make because I'm not sure. There you go, QHD 63D, I, there you go, I, it means nothing to be honest, um, it's a pretty small uh, tripod if I can extend it out, and I'll have to pause this, actually no, I'll, I'll use my little gorilla pod thingy to try and make a little tripod, so you can see this, uh, there you go, so, yeah, if I extend this out, you probably can't see the whole tripod right now, cause... right, um, put it down to smallest mode, so as you can see, it folds up pretty small, like that. So um, yeah, it's cool for just portable. So you can go to London with it, like I said. But there's also you can also extend these things here, so they can extend. So it's about the height of me, to be honest, um, when you extend it fully. So yeah, I I used to have this as a Manfrotto, um, but this doesn't fold up as small as you can see, um, and it's heavier. So I thought well. May as well invest in a new. Please stay there, please. There you go. I may as well invest in a new tripod just to make things easier. It's also got this little. Don't even see that on the camera. Little thing so you can see it when it's level and stuff. That's that's very useful. And of course, if you've got a tripod, you pretty much got the little attachment on the end, which I don't have on there at the moment, which is kind of awkward. But yeah, that fits in there, and then you can move the camera around to get your shot. All right. So moving on to the kind of videos that I use with this. Um, now, if you've seen on my channel, I do the weekly car news every Sunday. It goes up midday. Um, I use this for the weekly car news because I thought, well, there's no point using my camcorder because um, this is just on a tripod, this tripod, in fact. Um, and it's just better quality and um, thought it was worthwhile. Uh, works really well, to be honest, because as you can see, it has a film mode, which actually is... Okay, that's really awkward. My f flipping cameras out of battery um but yeah i also use a screen as you may see which i shall get now this is the, this is the screen oh god right okay there's a screen um if i sit where i normally sit like around here I recognise that. So I've got this behind me, and I normally show pictures up in this corner somewhere. Um, so yeah, this works really well. It was only a cheap one from Amazon, I think it was like twenty quid or something. Uh, but it's pretty cheap. Right. Look at that, and um, it does the job. I might invest in like, upgrading it or something if if the weekly car news carries on doing well. Um, 
But yeah, it does the job, like I said. Um, worth getting if you're doing some sort of show or something, because it makes the background look better rather than having my the rest of my room. Oh yeah, by the way, I meant to say, all this stuff is just filmed in my bedroom, so... <laughs> this is like the tidy part. It took me like two days to tidy this. And over there is all the stuff that I haven't, haven't really tidied, so I think the screen should stay here. Right, so when I do my weekly car news videos, this is normally how my camera's set up. Now, I don't normally have the battery pack on it. This is a, one of my new things I've just got, so... Because after Goodwood, um, I used it a lot, so I thought, well, better have a bigger battery, so I've got the battery pack. Now, I don't have the thing on the bottom, so it pretty much just sits like that. And then you probably can't see me in this, because it's not on the wide-angle setting. Because um, I am using my GoPro for this, actually, because um, I, I know where my camcorder is, but I can't be bothered to go get it, long story short. Um, so this is what you see, this is what I talk into when I do the weekly car news videos. It's kind of boring, but there you go. Right, so seeing as we're like sitting at my desk, um, I may as well show you what's here. So, so I've got my mouse and stuff for my Mac, which I edit all the stuff on. Um, I'll go into the softwares I use in a second. I've got the notebook for my video ideas, which I don't have many at the moment, which is kind of annoying. If you have any things that you want to see, then put them down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Um, so I've got my camera here. I normally have my other ones here, just sitting here. Um, but like I said, I'm filming with the GoPro and the camcorders somewhere. Um, so yeah, I may as well go onto my computer. So to edit photos, I use Lightroom. So these are all the ones from Goodwood. I got a lot of photos. And then sometimes if I need to do some cloning or anything like that, I go into Photoshop, but that's just loading up, so that'll take ages. And then for my videos, I use Premiere Pro. Now this is my intro for this video. I thought, because I'm using my GoPro, I may as well test what it looks like. Um, so you've already seen that, but this is what I edit all my photos into. Uh, videos, I mean, lol. Um, so I'll put that in there, ready for the video. There's a mugshot of me, that's kind of awkward. Okay, let's go on to here. So yeah, these are the three main programs I use, but sometimes with my camera, it's a kind of a bit annoying, so I use iPhoto to like import it, as you can see, but it iPhoto like creates copies and uses up so much disk, disk space, um, which is really annoying, so I need to work out a way of sorting that out. If, it's, if, if anyone's got a way of sorting that out, then please put it in the comments, because it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> So I may as well point out, this is like part of my model car collection. Um, I got that at Goodwood, if you've seen the vlog. That's probably one of my best models. Um, love it, it's quite cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of small, but there you go. I'm working on it, it's, it's doing alright. Got two Enzos for the lols, don't know why. Right, so what I'm filming this on is my GoPro. Um, now this is a Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. Um, Pretty cool GoPro. I normally use it just to stick on the side of cars, such as when I film the Jaguar XJ220 going um, full blast down the seafront at Bournemouth Wheels Festival, or when we just stick it to the 458 entering an event or something. This is some footage for the vlog. Um, but I, not, I don't really use it for stuff like this, but seeing as my camcorder, which is the Sony Handycam CX410, yeah, CX410, um, isn't here right now, so I thought I'd film it with this. Um, but the camcorder, good camcorder, Sony Handycam, you go, you can't go wrong with the Sony Handycam, I mean, whichever one you get, they're going to be good. Um, now, pretty much all of my friends who do the same as me, they use Sony Handycams or something similar. So if you're looking to start it up, then I recommend that. So, um, sometimes when I do private photo shoots for supercar owners, um, I end up selling them. Um, now, for example, say I find you an owner to a P1 GTR, unedited photo, not great, I know. Um, then I print it off for him, and what I use is this, the Canon Pro 1. Um, it's a fairly recent purchase. I've only really started doing prints like lately um, But I can do other stuff such as like canvas and stuff like that, which I'm doing at the moment um, But yeah, this is an insane printer if I open the ink thing Actually, it's not plugged in so it won't work. But yeah, it's pretty much full of ink. It's crazy. It's um it prints like So crisply right so moving on um, like I said, I'm filming this with the GoPro So I may as well go through all the stuff that I use for that um, this is a head mount. I tend to use this and this, which is a uh, chest mount for the buggy videos that I've seen that I've put up online, and also a skiing video, which kind of was a fail. Um, but this is a suction cup. This is what I use the most. This is what I use to stick on the side of cars and stuff like that. So I can pretty much just go like that, and it will stick. But it didn't. So yeah. Uh, and then these are all the different attachments that you can use, so you can get different angles. Um, and then this is the other little case, I don't know how you call it, but it doesn't, the one I'm using right now has the little gap to the back, 
um, to reduce wind noise and how we are. Um, this is the remote which comes with all black editions I believe. Um, use it a bit but to be honest it's just the same as just turning it on <laughs> unless you're feeling really lazy. But I also have an extendable pole which is in here like a selfie stick kind of thing but for a GoPro and that extends out. I've used that for a buggy video before if you've seen that. Uh, scroll through the videos you'll find it somewhere. Um, by the way, I'm going to do more of those kind of videos soon, to be honest, because um, now I'm on some holidays, I've got some more time, so I thought I may as well do some more of them, if they get popular, if you want to see them. Um, so yeah, let me know down below, huh, that was cool, let me know down below if you want to see them, so that I can always do a quick video of it. Now of course, you just stuff it all back in, and hope that it closes. Oh god, look that. That'll, that'll do, to be honest, that'll do. Oh, um, yeah, this is my camera bag. Um, yeah, there you go, it's a Tamarack. I rarely use it nowadays, to be honest, because if I go to a show, I normally just carry my camera with me. But there's something in here which is very useful. Um, this little handy device means that I can connect either my GoPro or my camcorder to my DSLR. So, for example, when the supercars were leaving Goodwood, um, I could take photos of them as well as film from the top of here. Um, which, if you've seen the videos, you may hear lots of shutter clicks, because that's why, because my camera's right below it. Um, but, yeah, it, I just thought of it one day. I thought, well, hang on a minute. It's got this little thing on the top, then I may as well see if there's some sort of connection that allows me to use both at the same time. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. It works pretty well. It's a bit loose sometimes, but... It also gets stuck on my camera quite a lot. Um, but yeah, definitely worth getting. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, this is what I use. Now knowing me, I've probably forgotten something. So that'll come after this outro, if if that case is true. Uh, which it probably is, because I'm just, I don't know, unorganized, you know. Um, but yeah, this is all the stuff I use, ranging from a screen to a printer, to a computer, cameras, all that jazz. Um, to be honest, it, it's a lot of equipment. Um, now, I've just built it up over the years, saving up for birthday presents, Christmas presents, all that. Um, and now I'm in a place where I thought, I just think, well, now I have all the equipment, let's go out there and see what I can do with it. Um, so this is why I'm doing more YouTube videos for you guys. I'm trying to upload loads from Goodwood, uh, but I haven't had the time this week. It's been so busy. Um, and yeah, I've taken loads of photos, starting to upload more to Instagram, Facebook, all that. I might start Flickr again, because I kind of forgot about it, and uh, I might go back to that. Um, but yeah, all the links are down below to all my social media, so please go check that out if you've got a bit of time. Um, and like, follow, whatever that, whatever, if you haven't already, because it's greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video now, um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give a like if you did, uh, if you want to see more of these type of vlogs of my personal life, all that kind of stuff. I might start doing that, I'm not sure yet. Um, but also give a comment down below if you've got any questions for me about any of the equipment or any ways that I can improve uh, my videos. And yeah, also remember to subscribe if you haven't already, because um, I, like I said, I'll be uploading loads more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. I forgot something. Um, this little thingy, microphone. Um, I use this for my weekly car news videos. Uh, it just slots on there, can't be bothered to put it on. But yeah, um, slots in there and kind of improves the audio. Oh god, falling over my chair, okay. I'm tired. Um, yeah, that, there you go. Um, like I said before, like, share, comment, all that. And uh, thanks for watching and yeah, goodbye.